Okay, so I am at Takahui, and that there is Takahui Saddle Road. Now there is a four-wheel drive track that goes up and over that hill there down into Broadwood, which is quite convenient because it will get me around the Mangamukas, which is currently closed due to a big slip. Um, however, it is a reasonably serious four-wheel drive track. I've not done it myself solo. I've been through there twice in two different vehicles and it's all about picking the right line. There's a washout near the top that you don't want to fall into and it's quite a narrow track. You definitely don't want to go off the edge. So we'll pick and choose. We'll see how it goes. Well, we can't really pick and choose once you're in, you're in. There's a couple of places to turn around though. So if I get to one of those points and I'm not liking it, then I'll turn around and head out this side. Um, this side being the easiest, I think. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. Six, one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah. Anyway. So the seal stops just at the hall there, and the road just deteriorates more and more as you head in until it's just a single lane track. And then there's the first sort of big obstacle a bit of a rocky climb up onto the track itself so I ran into some locals right at the start there so I stopped and had a bit of a yarn this is one of the hardest obstacles on the whole track um, especially if it's wet and the locals um, I was talking to agreed that uh, if you can get up there you'll be able to make it through so that um, made me feel a bit more optimistic about it all so thought about my line and cracked on in oh this will be interesting I reckon that went pretty well. Yeah, no, very good. Well, that went pretty well, I think. That was sort of the first little obstacle on the thing and sort of the end of the maintained track. So it's one of the hardest bits, so we're doing well. We'll see how we go. One thing that quickly became apparent is that flex is pretty limited and wheel lifts, well let's just say I think it's more than a 79 series Land Cruiser. Crikey, okay that was um, a bit of an interesting angle. It was alright though but whoo, <laughs> takes a bit of getting used to.
took me a moment to realise I was catching on the front step. Luckily, no damage. So a slightly different line and sort of made it through. Was interesting but we made it to the top of the saddle from here it goes down that way to Broadwood down and across the creek and we've come up from there um, the way from here into Broadwood is longer but it's all downhill there's a few tight little corners um, with creeks in them from memory two of those but we should be pretty right um, flex is a problem <laughs> This is why it's called brick. Not only is it shaped like a brick, and the colour of a brick, it flexes like a brick. But it's been okay, just more wheel slip than I'm used to, and it's picking in line with the wheels, front wheels so far back is a bit different. But yeah, so far I'm happy. We'll head down the side and see. It's a great view out there, but it just shows you um, why you don't want to fall off the edge of this track. One of these little crossings that I was talking about, this one's pretty easy, so it's alright. Got to remember to paint, take the nose close to the edge way more than I would in a normal four wheel drive. That's the hardest thing to sort of remember. I was going to run over that camera for a minute. Thank you. 
Whoa, that was a big wheel lift. That one sure got the heart racing, wow. <laughs> it's like off-roading a hippo. I hope, you got, I hope I got that on camera, that was woo -hoo. It's not going to stay there, is it? No. Oh. <laughs> Did that easier than I thought. Now we're going down there, but that shouldn't be too bad. Just um, stopping to put the GoPro back on because I took it off for this because it was a little bit narrow. This was interesting, I tell you. It's quite steep. Never looks as steep on camera, but it's just this um, top bit here that's interesting. You sort of drop over at a funny angle. But coming up, it's um, a bit of a lean and it pushes you over towards that. Pampas. Funnily enough, that dodgy ass looking bit here felt fine and just dropping over around this corner was a little bit interesting. But anyway, getting closer to Broadwood all the time. Well, it's going alright. It's a bit more um, nerve-wracking than the surf, that's for sure. Especially when it all picks a wheel up. Um, but what a great view. So that's looking out towards Broadwood. I'm at least halfway down, probably, ah, uh, yeah, I'm about halfway down. I don't know if you can see a little tiny creek there. Um, we've got to go down the bottom and then cross that. But I think, I don't think we're gonna get anything harder than what I've already come across, which is a relief, because, yeah, it's interesting when a wheel gets picked up. <laughs> That one was interesting. This is what we just drove down. You can see why Brick picked up a wheel. Although in saying that, the surf would just wander straight through there. Hmm, a little dip in the track. It's actually nothing too bad. I wouldn't even hesitate in the surf, but... Hmm, what to do? 
definitely do not want to fall over the edge, but I think that's rather unlikely unless I come at it way too fast. It's just a funny angle. I think I'm going to try and ride the angle. Okay, well, this is what we're doing. We're testing it, so let's see how I do here. I really want to run one wheel up here. That's the angle I'm going to take. One wheel high and hope for the best. That felt absolutely awful. Um, oh well. A little bit interesting. It's going to be all about wheel placement. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at this first. This is going to be where things get the sketchiest, I think. This is the creek crossing. Yeah. How am I going to film this? Oh, I'm struggling to even walk it. Wow. <laughs> it's steep. I might belly here, I might belly there. Oh, and that crossing there's easy. It's just, huh. Hmm. What I'm gonna do, so I'm going to put these here. <clears throat> so that I can in theory keep my centre up there a little higher. And then we should be alright.
Well, that is the hardest part of the track over. Um, there's still half a k, a few hundred meters that way to get out. It's just overgrown, and the hardest part's what we're looking at in front of us there. But now I've got to go across this creek and get my other camera back. As they say is that it was a little sketchy to be honest it wasn't too bad but when it starts picking up a wheel it's not a fun feeling uh, uh, I think I'll get used to it it wasn't too bad it's definitely not as easy as the surf that's a given and I sort of expected that like I didn't expect it to be as good as the surf but is the trade-off worth it I don't know, I'll have to do a few more trips and find out. Anyway, I'm off home now. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.